Libra, hello. Amanda here. Welcome to Unseen Hands Healing. This is going to be your January 2020 shift reading. So we're looking at the shape you're shifting out of, the shape you're shifting into, and what that shift looks and feels like. What does that transition entail? All right, so before I get into cards here, Libra, the visualization that came through as I was meditating on your energy was very specific. I saw something kind of trying to wriggle and it was in this like little, um, it was like this big, like this little tiny uh, cylinder looking thing. And I was like, is it a worm? But the, but it wasn't a worm. It was just moving like a worm and wriggling like a worm, like a worm in like a, in, in a, in a burrow, you know, like how worms burrow through the earth. And it was almost like I was seeing the x-ray, you know, the, the cut vision of that wriggling in the, in that earth burrow, but okay. It was not a worm. In fact, it was a pill capsule. I know, just go with me. This is coming full circle somewhere. I promise. And so the, the medicine inside that pill capsule, inside that membrane was trying to wriggle free. That's what was kind of like pushing against the, the parameters of that capsule, trying to get out and spread out, spread open to where it could properly be absorbed by the body. You know, it's like if you are taking a medicine for something in it and you need it to absorb into the walls of the intestine, not stay in that capsule and then just pass all the way through your system without having the opportunity to break free. And then, okay, so I sat with this and I said, okay, where is this going? How does, how does that encasement how does that outer shell dissolve and i saw water i saw hydration because it was like it seemed a bit stuck almost like stuck in in an esophagus stuck in the esophagus or stuck in the intestine somewhere stuck in this like very narrow fleshy earth this is such earth energy that i'm talking about here stuck in this passage and, and it needs lubrication in order to move through. It needs this like, this flow of water and, um, and the water would then dissolve the outer shell and the, the contents of that capsule could then just begin to freely move and freely expand. All right, so if you're with me, this is very metaphorical what I'm talking about. And let me tell you the cards that came out. So I decided to pre-draw for this. If you've been following my channel, you know that I like to journey right along with you on the shuffle. But for these readings, you know, we're moving into a new decade. Energy is really intense to save both of our times and to allow me the opportunity to really sit with the energy before I turn the camera on, I decided to pre-pull. The extended readings will go on the, the journey of the shuffle together, okay? So Libra, whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, a card that came out as an overall energy before I even get into the shift. I know. Wild, right? water. To me, I always see in this card because we see an iceberg, we see water in its many forms, free flowing, frozen, turned to vapor. What I see in this card is that this, the weight of this frozen ice is about to break and flow into the water below. At least that's kind of what needs to happen. That's the invitation. That's what's wanting to happen. Some sort of thing that's been dammed up just pours, it surges. It's able to then like rush out of its capsule. Very, very interesting. So let's look at this. The shape you are shifting out of, dear Libra, 
is Virgo energy. This is the shape you're shifting out of. You are transitioning out of Virgo energy. If we look here, we've got this like none, you know, and, and I, I honestly think this is quite literal for some folks, the way that like a nun takes vows of celibacy, for example. A nun, essentially like these are, these are vows of devotion to self to such a profound degree that all Virgo is doing here, all this one is doing is focusing on cultivating, conjuring, right? Because we have a cauldron. Conjuring this blooming, this plant to, to rise up out of the waters, okay, water, right? The waters of the cauldron and rise up into ascension. You know, this is a, obviously a very spiritual card. This is about devoting to self in order to ascend, in order to devote to something higher than yourself. Devotion to self, devotion to God. Universe, source, spirit, however you define that energy. So we see, and you know, Virgo is, is usually associated with a solo energy because especially in the tarot, Virgo is the hermit. The hermit energy is very solitary, very solo, very good on, you know, I'm good on my own. I'm devoted to my own like spiritual practice in my hermit cave. You know, I, and this is earth energy. I cook, I nourish, I um, care for, I care for self and others, but in a way that is very solitary aligned with self. So perhaps you are moving out of a time of solitary self focus or devotion. You are shifting into the queen of cups, which my friend is more water energy, which I love to see because that was the ingredient. That was the, the, the thing that was needed to move that medicine along in in the digestive system. That was the thing that was needed to help dissolve that outer shell, help dissolve the walls of the hermit cave. I also love that we're talking about the digestive system because Virgo, you know, um, in astrology, Virgo is associated, earth energy in Chinese medicine as well, is associated with the digestive system and with our, the ways we are uh, able to assimilate and absorb and distribute nutrients. So when there's something that feels a little stuck with that Virgo energy, uh, with the meditation that I received. And so in order to move it along, you need water. And that seems to be exactly what's happening here in January for you, Libra. You are able to experience, look at this beautiful gold. It's actually a ring with a little like locket on it. And the locket opens up and pours this absolute liquid gold dripping down into this vessel below. There's something here about receiving, receiving emotional nutrients. You know, Libra, there's only so much you can cultivate on your own. We are social mammals. We need one another, whether we like it or not. We need companionship. We need family. We need social groups. We need intimacy. And that's what I'm seeing happening here. Moving from solo intimacy with self into energy that will allow something new to be received. And it's like, as you receive a different kind of nourishment, perhaps through relationships and intimacy with others, as you receive a new kind of nourishment, something else is then able to flow out of you, be absorbed by you, spread out of a narrow, cave that you have kept yourself in. And it does feel like medicine. This almost looks like medicine coming down. And that's exactly what I saw in the meditation. That capsule is full of medicine that needs to be released now. It's gorgeous. And look at just like the tossing of the waves here. This, there's so much movement 
in this card thanks to the water, which is really beautiful. Also, the Queen of Cups is very high priestess energy. It's deeply intuitive because we're looking at the water, the water in the Tarot of the Cups. It's all about receiving deep that deep intuitive well, that deep receptive well that is able to receive and tap into intuitive guidance and also and, and do that through the emotions, the water, the emotions, the emotional life. So some, there's some sort of like thing that has been frozen here emotionally, intuitively, that is now a dam is breaking and it surges forward. Surging, surging, like it, you're, you're, you're simultaneously receiving and releasing something. It's, it's also deeply sensual, deeply sexual, like to receive and release, you know, it's like, but in order to release, you need to be able to fully receive and like relax into that and allow things to move energy to flow through and out of you. Okay. I think you get it. Now, here's what that shift looks like for you. My dear Libras. Yeah, baby, right? Eight of Cups, the Empress, and the Ten of Cups. With the Eight of Cups, you're walking away from something that no longer serves you. And if we, you know, it's interesting that we have Virgo. This is how it appears in the spread to me. Shifting the shift from Virgo energy into the Queen of Cups energy begins with the Eight of Cups. To me, this is, this feels like a, a past, it's, it's both past and present. This is past energy for me. There was some time in the past where you left something behind that you had invested quite a lot into. I'm sure we can all relate to energy like that. You left something behind that you had invested a lot in. We have eight cups here. That's a pretty big emotional investment. We see someone walking away, turning towards the mountain to go on that solo journey to go on that hermit Virgo journey into finding alignment with self. Saying, you know, I've invested a lot in this, but it's not the thing that is going to fully satisfy me and I need to walk away so that I can find the thing that's really gonna satisfy my heart. And I'm not gonna settle for anything less. Like That's that energy that's happening right here. And it's like, that has happened Virgo already. And, and this is really interesting. You, there's an opportunity right now, I think in January for you. Did I call you Virgo? Sorry. Libra. There's an opportunity for you, Libra, to break out of the hermit cycle because that's exactly what I'm seeing here. I'm literally seeing this figure walking away, leaving the cups on the beach, going up the mountain and come and like, and that it's almost like going, the journey of going up the mountain is to take the habit to take the vows of celibacy, the vows of silence, whatever, and, and go up into that spiritual seeking. And then there you are in this internal space of spiritual seeking, leaving things behind. So, you know what I mean? Like there's this sort of Virgo hermit cycle that's happening here that will just leave you, um, you won't ever exit this cycle, Libra. You won't ever exit this solitary, solo seeking cycle, unless you open yourself to receive. The Empress energy is all about receiving. It's all about that Venus energy. Venus is, you know, rules what we value, love, money, how we value ourselves. Venus luxuriates in the abundance that she desires, okay? And so in order to luxuriate in the abundance we desire, we have to first believe we are worthy of receiving. And then we need to relax enough and open our energy enough to let that pour in, 
to let that abundance come in and not block it by saying, oh, well, um, I'm not sure and, and I don't know and like, yeah, I've been alone for a while, so. Uh, uh, uh. Opening to receive. That's that Empress energy and look how confident she is in that reception, that receptive energy. It's interesting too because it's like in order to fully bloom, you've got to receive. In order to be able, some people see the Empress as being pregnant, in order to fully give birth, you first have to receive the seed. You, you have to receive that potential into your body and say that energetic yes to its gestation and its development before it can then be released out into the world. Okay, so there's that birth metaphor for you. Um, and then what we see in the Ten of Cups, you know, readers talk about the Ten of Cups being like, you know, if, if the journey of the cups, which again, emotions, intuition, if the journey of the cups goes from one to 10, this is the 10, this is the completion, this is the fulfillment, the feelings of fulfillment that you seek emotionally. And what's really beautiful in this particular 10 of cups, you know, we've got the double rainbow. So it's not only, it's not only one miracle, it's two. Sure, you know, the universe source God says, yeah, sure, I can give you a miracle, but why not two? And you're like, what? Oh yeah. How about two? Why stop with one? You know, abundance. Ask for everything you desire. So, but in order to be able to ask for everything you desire, you have to believe you deserve it. You know what I mean? Okay. So what I'm seeing here is the hands at the bottom of the Ten of Cups, both, op both releasing and in that release, in that giving up of giving up your desires to the universe, your hands become open to then receive. It's like you must release in order to receive. It is a simultaneous, energetic, physical, mental, emotional dance. Releasing the medicine from inside the capsule in order for the body to receive it and absorb it and take it in as nutrients, sustenance, healing. It's majorly about healing, this reading. Look at this card. Deeply healing waters, the anointed with oil, you know, anointment here. And then look at this beautiful whale, like whale doing like a celebratory jump in the background. That's what we're getting to. That's what we're trying to get to here, Libra, with this shift. It's really quite beautiful. I can't believe this water card came out because that when I sat in meditation and I just asked, what's the key? What's the key to dissolving this shell for Libra? so that Libra can receive the medicine, it was water. Think about water metaphors. What does it mean to hydrate yourself? Take it metaphorically, take it literally. Frickin' hydrate yourself, Libra. Go dip your body in water, go to the spa, go sit in the communal baths, you know, let the steam and the sweat and the waters, the salt baths, just pour over your body. That type of nourishment. And then of course, think metaphorically as well. Um, before we, sh we jump to metaphors, I, I wanna bring up lymph. And if, while we're talking about physical movement, breathe, allow your, you know, the way, you know, lymph fluid moves through the body, lymph is, instrumental in removing toxic things, you know, like cellular waste from our body, which are, by the way, very natural things to happen. Of course, we're constantly producing toxins and um, filtering toxins and cellular waste. It's just what our body does. Perhaps more, it's got more of an overload than it's used to in today's world of plastics and whatnot, but the lymph system is all 
is tasked with removal of cellular waste. And how does the body remove cellular waste? Through water, through lymph, through that fluid, which we are 70 plus percent made of. There's like, there's, I've read something recently in a medical journal that said there was more lymph fluid in the body than blood. And I'm like, is that true? There's more lymph fluid in the body than blood. How do you move lymph fluid? Because the blood has the heart to help pump it. Veins and valves and muscles to help pump it. How do you move lymph? Through breath and through physical movement. It's the only way. Can't really move it any other way that we know of. Breathe, Libra. And the only way you can breathe is if you're able to relax enough to allow that expansion and contraction to happen. I know this is already 21 minutes, but I also want to share that something that I read in that paper, which was pretty mind-blowing to me, was the discovery of lymph vessels and lymph tissue encasing the heart, which is something in all of my studies of the body, I come from bodywork background. I never learned that, that the body is encased in this lymph fluid, this lymph tissue. The heart is encased in that lymph tissue. And so in order to allow the expansion of your heart, allow your heart to receive the, the emotional nutrients and nourishment, I just saw 2222, that it deserves, you've got to oh, get it moving. You've got to get, it un, get that lymph tissue unfrozen. Heart protector, stand down. Get that lymph moving through breath, through expansion, through allowing. Allowing emotional flow, allowing things to just sort of flow in your life. Virgo can be kind of a micromanaging, overanalyzing energy sometimes, you know? Letting it flow, let it go. Open the hands now, open the hands and let everything flow through. Okay, goodness gracious. Let's get you a postcard from the liminal space. I'm just feeling this reading so deeply. I mean, okay, before we do this, sorry, it's just can't stop, won't stop till the energy is done. Here's what I'm looking at. I, I need you to see these three, Libra, because this is you. That's the power that you're working with right now, this type of energy. It's an incredible, open, receptive power. Emotional, intuitive, abundant power. Okay, now let's get you a postcard from the liminal space here to round out your January shift reading. What's the advice for Libra this January shift? Advice for Libra, this January shift. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Okay. We got all the things. Hold on. I got to sort through this. This is a lot of cards. Bear with me for a second here, Libra. Ah. Uh huh. Well, there's some sort of offering here. Oh wow. Wow, wow. Okay, of course you got like 10 cards. Okay, first of all, we're gonna start here. Dark Knight of the Soul, you are not alone in this uncertain place and protect your ecosystem. I think this is where you have been. I think this is the hermit. Virgo energy that I've been feeling. I'm even seeing this curled up fetal positioned figure alone in the dark as that capsule stuck in the earth alone, unable to move, curled up in heart protecting mode 
And probably for good reason, Libra. I'm not saying that the ways that you have been protecting yourself are not useful. I think they've been incredibly useful. Very much needed. This hermit journey that you've been on is very much a journey that you needed to go on. But now it's like you're not alone in this uncertain place. I love this card. Bane me up, Scotty. We are not alone. You're not alone. There's there are larger forces in the universe here. I that I'm see I'm literally seeing this as like they're ready to beam you up. They're ready to take you up out of this darkness, to beam you up. And look at this. An offering and the farm. There's an offering. It's almost like I'm look how similar the imagery is with this like feather being dropped down from the sky or beamed up, however you see it. There's something on offer here, Libra, an opportunity to perhaps start something new, to perhaps receive, you know? This whole reading is all about being releasing in order to receive. There's an offer coming in that I think you're gonna to wanna to receive. And the farm here is all about get, having the opportunity to get away to a place to relax, to be in communion with nature, to, it's like a retreat center, you know? It's like this beautiful, relaxing countryside scene that brings much peace. I think your, one of your last readings talked about peace like a river. I think your December shift reading talked about the Ace of Cups, something new coming in that's nourishing for your heart. And that in order for you to say yes to that, it's got to feel like peace like a river. And that's what I'm seeing here, an offer coming in that just feels like peace like a river. <laughs> like a river, right? Water, water. Allow that river to take you where you want to go oh my gosh that that um that song of course i'm gonna blank on the artist's name leon bridges you know take me to your river take me to your river i wanna go okay go listen to that song libra what a beautiful reading okay listen here's what we're gonna do next I'm gonna do a little extra special extended reading, okay? Um, not only am I going to now take this into an extended where we clarify everything on the board and get more specific into how this scenario seems to be playing out in your life, but then at the end of that extended, I'm going to get four cards that are going to show us a 2020 quarterly overview. So the, the card, the energetic guide that is here for you in the first quarter of 2020, the second, the third, and the fourth to give you a picture of what 2020 might look like. This is kind of a taste of a larger offering that I offer called the Wheel of the Year reading. It's over on my website. You can check out all of that in the descriptions below. Okay, so there'll be a little preview at the end of this reading that allows you the opportunity to get a glimpse of what that extended gets into. If it seems to be resonating with you, click the link in the description below. That's gonna take you over to Patreon. Patreon is a community that I formed for folks that are resonating with my work where you can receive the extended shift readings every month. So if that sounds like it's for you, go check it out, okay? Thank you, Libra, for tuning in. Happy January, happy new year. Let it flow. like rigidity would lead to a tight jaw, which would then, and it's like if you loosen the jaw, then the lymph begins to flow down into the neck where it can be processed. Then it, that would then continue to flow down into the heart and like out of the body. That's sort of like the, the energetic pathway that I'm seeing, which is very lung meridian. Lung meridian is all about letting go of grief, letting go, letting go of this past grief, this past experiences that you may have been through 
so that the heart then can like pump forward. I'm ready to go forward. I'm ready to follow that adventurous spirit. But in order to do that, some structure, rigid structures need to be loosened a bit, mm, which leads us beautifully into the 10 of cups, which is the opening of the hands, opening the hands, letting go, and also opening to receive.